Hi, Angela here with Dogwood Paper Arts. And I came with a frog in my throat, apparently. <clears throat> That's what happens when you haven't been chatting all day. So, these are the belly bands that I made. Each one is the same. Um, they're obviously going to go on a page in this direction, so they're going to be towards the end of each signature. But we're going to need a piece of ephemera under each one. And so I brought along some different items. And um, I'm looking for a little bit bigger items. This would be nice. These are from my porch prints. Oh, this would be pretty on here. Maybe we'll decorate these up too. Um, I really want something bigger, bigger under the belly band. And I do remember we have some big sheets of paper that we can use these. Here's one with some ferns and some ocean themed things on it. I love this one. I wish that... Oh, you know what? Let me grab an Edith Holden. Maybe Edith has something for us. Edith, where are you? Oh, we might look in that too. Edith? Edith? Oh, there you are, Edith. That's uh, not the right one. Oh, that might have something. Oh. Okay. I have a couple of books here. Here's the one I was looking for. And I also have this. And wouldn't it be nice to pull a page, if there was a nice one, out of here and hold it up and put it underneath the belly band. I don't see anything gardeny though. So maybe not. I was hoping that, oh, there's a nice wintertime one, but, um, no, I don't see any nice little garden ones. Okay, so that one is out. I also have Diary of a Rose Lover. If, we, if there's a purple rose in here or something, we could use one of these pages. Some pretty pink ones. Purple, purple, where are you? No purple. Okay. So nothing there. That one's out. Okay. That's a similar, isn't it? Hmm. 
This isn't the book I've been chopping up on, though. What can be there? Juniper berries. Heather. Thistles. Um, well, 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 well. seeing any nice purple pages. That's purple. Oh, that has lots of purple. So that's that one. Now this is a little different one. Um, and it'll have the same pictures, but it, they won't be as dark. That's a nice page. And that one. And maybe that one. A lot of yellow in that one. Maybe just this one. Ooh, that's pretty. That has some nice purple in it. You know what I think we'll do? I think we'll make our own. Now, like I said, here is this one. This one is very nice. It's got a blank back on it. I like that. And then, of course, this one is perfect because it has the lilac, the lavender, sorry. Um, and then, of course, this one has got a pretty rose on it. Christmas, no. Oh, a perfume, that would be a good one. Then we wouldn't have to make one, would we? That one's very pretty. I love that one. If these were purple, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? It's another butterfly. There's another one of those. It's the exact same one. We don't want to put two of the same in the book. The fern's lovely, but it has the ocean things on the back, and that's not really what I was looking for. Do. 
is we can take our extra sheets of this and we really can just make our own. Something that will slip under here. Um, like this. This is very pretty. This would look very pretty underneath of that. So what I want to do then is cut some off the top and I think some off the bottom so that we're saving this piece in the middle. Now these are the papers by Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I'm going to take just a little off the bottom. And now I'm going to take a little bit off of this side. Or when we put our writing paper on the inside here, well, we could fold it that way. I think the way we'll decorate the inside of this paper is to put a little bit of the purple on it. So let's let's start there. And we will glue this down up here. on the top, just like this. And I think this color is going to be okay in here, but we may add another sheet to the inside to write on. I don't want it to get too fat though. We want to be careful about fattening the book up too much. Right there. If it's a little long, I'd rather have it a little long than a little short. Okay, so seedless grape or violet? This seedless grape is really pretty. So I'm going to use that to go around these edges. Oh, let's see. Oh, I turned my mic on. Good girl, Angela. Good girl. And we're going to set our timer. Whoops. <laughs> one click on, one click off. Okay. So all I'm doing is creating a writing page to go under the belly band. Like perhaps you want to write a letter to yourself or something. You know, have a little longer writing page. And instead of making a booklet, I am making um, like a legal size sheet. Only it's scrapbooking journal making papers. I do love this color.
Okay, so if it opens this way, then we're going to glue this down right in here. And I need one of these. And this. We don't want to turn our umbrella upside down. This paper is a little bit damp, I mean this towel, because I used it to clean up today. Didn't get things really clean, but they're cleaner than they were. <laughs> so that is good. Okay. So maybe on the inside We'll want to put something like this. This is a My Porch Prints. I'm just going to apply glue to the bottom of this right here. And I'm going to eyeball the center. Grab a piece of paper. Should have put this under that. Oh darn it. Now I'm gonna have to make another one of those. No, it'll be alright. Okay. So we want it to be on the inside of this just a little bit. And then we want it to be able to tuck under here. So we at least needs to come to here. So let me cut off two of these. This is the linen paper. Put my lid on my glue. We'll save these for another project, or if we make a little book or something, we can tuck those in there. Okay, so I need to redo this piece, but it's good to have that one down there because this does show around the edges. So we'll just put two sheets in here. You know, maybe what we'll do is just put a couple of eyelets in there or brads or something. Not that one. Let's see.
Here we go. Look at this. Perfect color. Purple. I have a dark and a light. Let's put this right about there. Move this to the larger hole, three sixteenths. And let's see. Let's go in about two inches. Be right about there. And then we'll go in right about one inch. No, one inch on the one eighth inch hole. So it would be half an inch, no? About a fourth of an inch. I'm using the measure on here. So a fourth of an inch down this way. Is that a fourth or a half there? I think that's a half. And then we're going in. How far in did we go from the side? I'm using the tape measure down on, on here. I went in um, almost two inches from the side. It was just slightly less. So somewhere in there. And then half an inch down. So right about there. Okay. Now we'll put this there. I think we probably should have that on the inside, shouldn't we? And that on the outside. So we need to make sure that this is on uh, 3 sixteenths needs to be A1. A one. Okay. So there's A one. Anyone got any A one sauce? Oh. <laughs> I unlined up my holes. There we go. Okay. Slide this in and Oh, I see. That's what I have to do. There we go. There. Oh, I did a light and a dark. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, goodness. One of those days, isn't it? We can put a ribbon through it or not. Let's see if this paper will tuck in under here. And the book will close like this. Uh, 
Now, hopefully, it won't be too wide. And it is. Of course it is. Because I forgot to cut it off. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days, you guys. That's okay. We practiced. Now we know. This is kind of what it's going to look like. <laughs> So, I just need to make them smaller. Oh dear. So, we'll use this one. The height is good. It was this part that was wrong. I need to um, actually cut this one off right about here. If I do that, the paper will be there. Well, we might as well fix what we have right now, right? I just got way ahead of myself. That's all. So, I think this here is a very good line to look at. But... Yeah. We're going to just use this as our line. I don't know how well this cutter is going to cut through that paper. Yeah, not very well. Let me take it over to my other cutter. It'll miss the brads this way. But it doesn't want to cut it either. It says, lady, you're trying to cut too much off. Okay. There is our book. Now it fits. <sighs> okay. Oh, I cut that off. Well, that's not nearly as tall, is it? Okay. Starting over. That's from the paper that I had glued down previously. I just kind of want to leave it there. Okay. Now, we need something up along the top. Let's go ahead and maybe use one of these that says lavender. out there. I'm going to cut it off right here. My husband was watching is watching kind of a mystery show. I don't know the name of it. It's actually pretty good. 
I love mysteries. But it also has a killer on it. I don't I don't mind watching those kinds of shows, but he was scary killer. Okay, so this time we are going to put this underneath that band. So first we will give this just a little bit of glue on the paper. Give the next one a little bit of glue. Okay. Now, what we will do is go ahead and cut this off a little bit and then we're going to find something to tuck it into again. Uh, what do we have? What else do we have? We have the beehive. Well, let me cut this off a little bit because it's going to be too long. Page off. Not really. <laughs> it just felt like it. Now we could go large like that. I think we want to go something a little bit smaller like this. I'm going to go ahead and round this off and cut this little bit of white edge off of here. just off the side and then I want to round the top just to make it nicer for the paper to be inserted are you guys ready for Christmas I think I finished the last of it this morning oh. So glad. Okay. Um, art glitter glue. Just going to eyeball the center of it a little bit. That is not it. Oh dear. Did you see where I tossed it? <laughs> Help! Brain freezes. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of glue on that just to hold it all down. We'll put it around the edges. so that it doesn't bother the little uh, brads or eyelet, sorry. And so it glues top and bottom. Just make it look neater. Okay, now we 
have this little purple butterfly and he is without his antenna so I think we need to give him some antenna. I gave him a backside of the same color I mean of the a darker brown color because I just took and glued the pages but I kind of like my butterflies to have an antenna so I am going to get a couple little pieces of embroidery thread and let's give him some dark antennas. And I guess he only needs like a little bit, doesn't he? So under his underside, I want to give him just a tiny shot of glue of I'm using uh, Fabri-Tac. Just going to put those under his body here and straighten them out a little bit. Really want one to go that way and one to kind of come this way. I guess it doesn't matter if they cross. He's going to be a little bit cross-eyed. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know when they wanted to go opposite directions. My goodness. Okay, good enough. I'm not going to fuss with it. It is what it is. And then, a little bit of glue. This is rolling out of here like no tomorrow. Now we got them all tangled up. I guess I glued them together. All right, stop, you two. Just stop it. We got it. Okay. That's what I wanted to happen. <laughs> I wanted it to cooperate. My glue is exploding. First can't get it to come out. 
Then I leave it on its side. Now it is plugged. That's pretty, isn't it? Okay, now I think we should go ahead and put in the two little eyelets because I think it looks better with the eyelets in there. Um, So that is two and three quarters of an inch. Two and three quarters of an inch. So right about there. There we go. I think that'll look good. Okay, I have light purple this time. I had two of them. They're there. Let's see if this one is on. That's three. a nice little look. Now if we wanted, let's see how this is going to look. I need to trim these up, of course. Okay, so the belly band will be on there, about like this. Then we'll have our little book there. I think this is bending in the wrong place this time. Shouldn't be. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know why it's bending that way. But it is. Um, we can put a little piece of lace in there. Or we can put ribbon in there. We already have ribbon on this. So we probably don't want the same kind of ribbon out here. Um, oh, let's see. I gotta put this in this glue. See, it's having a volcano. Um, let's see. 
see. What could we use? Here's the ribbon. We could use the ribbon there. Uh, here is the bright purple that could go with the light purple. That might be better. Should the ribbon be on the inside, the bow on the inside or the outside? Probably. It would make it too thick on the inside, I'm sure. But let's just have a look if we fancied it up in there, what it would look like. Sorry if I keep getting out of camera today. I think I need to send the send that out a little bit. Okay. So what if we tie this? Lobo here, and then made it go along the edges. And then we take our volcano glue and we just kind of put it up and around this way. It says, first you want me to come out, so I come out. And then you get mad because I'm com coming out and exploding all over the place. So you turn me up the right way. Yeah, that's the way we are, glue. We want you to work the right way all the time. I'm not going to want to close this right away because I want it to dry like that. So this one will go here. It's my cat trying to get in with the other cat that is eating her dinner. So something like that is what I'm thinking of. <laughs> there. So when it closes, we'll just have this on the outside. So it will look something like this. Then I need to put something, I need to make these shorter but I want to put something on them. A charm, maybe, or a couple of tickets. Attach some tickets.
Okay. So I'm going to just cut these off right around here and here. And that is the way it's going to look. So now. have a feather we can put out here. There's a ticket. Oh, here's the ticket. I think we could do that. This is a My Porch Prints. And then Tina also has some really nice ephemera. I'll get to it in just a minute. Now nothing says we have to use purple, 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 but I have so much of it now I think I better use some of it. Okay, so I'm going to put the ticket down here. Oh, that paper is not glued down there good. Ticket on there. About like that. And then we'll take this one that says Paris and put it on there. my glue into my fingers. There. I think that'll be fine. So there that one is. So that's finishing up the belly band and the little booklet that goes under it today. And get rid of that. The inside of this has a writing space in it. And then I'm not going to put things on the ends because it'll be too hard to tie. Of course, I don't have dainty fingers here either. So, obviously. Oops. Oh, I'm going to rip it. I better reinforce that right there. Good to know that it needs a reinforcement. Um, should it be something firm? Not that. What 
could it be? Oh dear, what could it be? Oh dear, what could it be? Oh dear, what could it be? Don't want to use that because the book is that color. Um, right now I just don't know. Do that because that would be too large. These are just misprints that I did. Um, That gives it kind of a neat look, doesn't it? That would reinforce it there. The other reinforcer that we have is thinking of this. I know I had some cut out, but who knows what I did with it. What if I just use that as part of the reinforcer there? Nothing says it has to go all the way to the end on each side. It just needs an extra reinforcement there on that paper. And I think we're going to have to cut this down just a little bit. about like that. We better put it on right side up. Oh, I guess there's no difference. I had to do a little shopping today. It sure felt good to get out of the house. hardly leave the house at all. So it really was nice to get out and of course wipe my hands down good before I get back in my car and I have these uh, disinfecting towelettes I use and you know I still wipe down the carts even though they say that they're disinfected. There we go. 
I think that will be better. See back here you have the reinforcement of the thicker paper because it's folded over itself. Okay. If I didn't have such a giant thumb. <laughs> Who gave me this giant thumb, I say? Maybe if I turn it this way. Part of it, you know, is trying to hold everything in place. So that it doesn't get gappy like that. Well, that's okay. Okay. So, as I was saying before I so rudely tried to break everything apart, is, say that's our page, there's our belly band, and then from under the belly band we have this cute little booklet with three writing pages. Well, actually, one, two, three, four, five. And it tucks back under there. And it tucks back under there. And it all looks very pretty, don't you think? I hope so. So this is what it looks like. I'll let you get a little closer to it. This is the finished belly band. Just put a few tickets on it. And then here's the finished booklet. With our ribbon and our butterfly. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me today. Sorry it took so long to get these belly bands up and running the right way. But they're done now, and we have our booklet to go with it, which is what I'm trying to accomplish with this album, is that I'm making the, the pocket piece and the ephemera that goes with it, or the uh, journal piece that goes with it. So, this one will probably go right about here. Let's see, that one. Oh, it's going to go here. Here. There we go. And then we have this one. And so our next one will be um, probably one of these. Might be one of these, which will go here. And under it we will tuck some ephemera. Maybe some tags. Um, like, here's a butterfly that we could tuck in there. And we could tuck in, have all kinds of ephemera. Here is this really cool looking thing. And then we could tuck in something a little bit smaller. So there we go. So now we have that one ready to go. These just need to be, um, they'll just be journaling cards. So we just need to really ink them up. And what else? So that leaves us anymore. One more in here. Is it one more? One. Two. No, because there's that one. Maybe, maybe one or two more. Yeah. 
That's going to be nice. Right here, I guess, or right here. I'll have to look how I did the front. I think I did them in. I did them behind. Yeah, I did them behind the page so that they went on this side, like that. And then go over there. Although they could go there. Where's the best spot? I don't really want to cover that up. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, we need something different here though. So maybe, like the belly band, Maybe it should come over here. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Which way this goes. Well, that would be upside down. So it does matter. But we could move it ahead one page here. Or we can just have it there, like that. Because we don't want to have too many pockets in a row. Well, of course, there's a pocket. Okay, so. Then there's that one. And then there's this one. And then there's this one. So this would need to go here. And then, yeah, we would be done. Okay. And then we might put something in back here. Um, yeah, I think I need to move this to this page. Yes, because they're right before them. So this would go... Oh, this is here because this is the middle page. Okay. But... That has to go on that side. And I don't really want to put it on the purple, do I? Maybe I do, since it's a whole page. I don't know. Let's think about it. So there is that. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you joining me. Um, this is going to be one of our um, in one of our decorations in there. Uh, somewhere. I had some other flowers that went with it. But I don't know where they are right now. Not that one. It doesn't matter. We'll find it. And then I'll get back to you tomorrow. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that slowish process today. I apologize for that. Um, some days are just like that. I don't know. I guess it's good for everybody to see when the days are a little bit messed up. I can't even find my timer, so I don't even know how long we've been on. Zero minutes, because I turned it off. Okay, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye for now.